Hey, this is Alec. Welcome to White Whale Con. Today, I'd like to take a few minutes to um, discuss graded comics, uh, specifically 9.8s versus 9.6s. And what that means as far as price, scarcity, uh, as well as what the actual physical differences are. But I'm only here to tell half of the story. I'm going to be talking about the numbers. You'll find the other half um, over on my friend Reggie Simmons' channel, who, if you don't know who that is by now, you should probably just stop watching this video and go watch his stuff because it's really good. Now, for me, this project started off as something much more specific and narrow, which was uh, looking at books that skyrocket in price from 9.6 to 9.8, like this or this and as I began to dig into census data and pricing information and percentages and all this stuff um, I stumbled across what I thought was some really interesting data about graded comics as a whole and as it turns out uh, after actually attempting to record this video two other times it felt more like a grueling statistics lecture than anything entertaining. It was 4,179 copies graded, 4,128 copies graded. 9.6, there are 998. 9.6, there are 973. 9.8, there's 661. 9.8, 774. 61%, not good. Uh, so instead of going over all of this in what was uh, excruciating detail, I want to try to boil it down into something more watchable or watchable at all. And in order to do that, I want to start off with a question, which is, are 9.8s really worth the money? Because in every instance, a 9.8 is usually at least twice the price, if not more, than a 9.6. And in a lot of cases, that tends to make sense when there are much fewer 9.8s in the census, like this book or this book. People are willing to pay a premium for something that's rarer. But is the increase in price supported when there are actually more 9.8s in the census, like this book or this book? Is the lure of a 9.8 worth that much more money, um, especially when it comes to modern books where anything less than a 9.8 is considered a disappointment. I've seen people's faces in plenty of unboxing videos. So let's see what the grade is. Nine point six. And I get it, really. We all want our books as near mint as possible. We want them nice and crispy like a good pizza crust. And 9.8 is the standard. But, I apologize for this in advance, let's dig into some numbers to see what that looks like. A 9.8 Avenging Spider-Man number 9 costs $250 more than a 9.6, which is about 44% more. Uh, and there are 33% more 9.8s in the census than 9.6s. So a 9.8 is actually less rare even though it's almost twice the price. Similarly, Captain Marvel 17 second print also is 44% more expensive in a 9.8, uh, which is $525 more in this case. And there are 44% more 9.8s in the census than 9.6s. So back to my original question, is it worth the money? Let's look at it this way. If you are holding two raw copies of the same book, and one was 44% more expensive than the other one for reasons you may or may not be able to notice, and I'm sure you can see Reggie's video for details on what that may look like, um, would you ever buy the copy that was 44% more? Would you even spend 20% more or 10% more if they seemed identical? Ah, identical. So is it just the knowledge that it's been verified as being almost perfect what makes it 
seem so worth it? Or are we really just paying for a number? Now, don't get me wrong, I'd still always rather have a 9.8 over 9.6, uh, but is it possible that they're overvalued? Because, especially with modern books, they aren't rarer. And in some cases, they actually average 9.8 in the census, which is bonkers. My point in all of this is not to discourage anyone from collecting the way they want to. If you want to hunt down 9.8s, I think that's great. And I also don't want to make anyone feel badly for spending money on a 9.8, because um, that's not really the point I'm trying to make. Um, I guess the point I'm trying to make is just to offer a different perspective um, that maybe 9.6s are still great comics, especially if you can get them at a good price. It's like 9.6s are those puppies in the corner of the store that aren't demanding the attention the way the 9.8 puppies are. And maybe they have a little floppy ear or a spot where they shouldn't. But you bring them home and they're still a great dog. Comic. Whatever. That metaphor got away from me a little bit. But you get my point. I hope. So let me know your thoughts. If you agree or disagree and why. And be sure to head over to Reggie's channel to see the other half of this conversation. I'll put a link in the description below in case you don't follow him already. And if you don't, you definitely should. So that's all I've got to say. Thanks for watching.